Hi, Brooklyn. Thanks for your email. I'm just going to go over the first question with you and show you um, a couple of things that you need to fix up. And then I think if you do that with the second question, um, it will work for that one also. So if we're trying to find the 65th percentile, then we know that it's going to be in this group right here because we get to a cumulative frequency of 70% um, in that group. So 65 must be contained in there. And so um, when you're making your list on the left-hand side, I like that you're doing that. That's, that's a great way to organize your information. Um, your... Uh, your values for LX, um, your lowest value in the interval that we're working in is not 50, it should be 30 because it's in the 30 to 40 interval. Um, your FX frequency is 8, not 4, that's this number here. And your cumulative frequency, um, FC, is the cumulative frequency um, so far. Um, so that would be the total from the group before. And so that's going to be the 20, okay? Not 34. And so if you put those values into your uh, formula, the other numbers are correct. We're okay here. That's fine. Um, and the 10 is fine. That is the interval width. But if you put those different values into your formula, I think you'll find that you'll get the correct percentile. Now, also, I think you mentioned that you were unable to see the answers. Um, I'm just going to try to check that quickly here. Oh, okay, now I see. Uh, I just checked to see if the answers were on that sheet, but you're correct. They aren't. Um, and the reason for that is that there's a quiz where I use some questions that are very, very similar to this. Uh, so I want to make sure that everybody's working through them and has their own answers before they attempt the quiz. But of course you can send them to me anytime and check to see um, if you're doing okay on them, okay? So feel free to check your answers once you've had a chance to try these again.